Hello YouTube, welcome to another video. So in today's video, I'm gonna talk about some data sets that we may need, okay? So, uh, data sets, if you don't know, are basically data, okay, that you use just for training or for uh, giving information for some system, okay? So it's like a start point uh, for where you can start Analyzing data, analyzing data. Okay, so let's talk about uh, the data set we're going to need. The first one is the chatbot data set. Okay, so if you haven't if you haven't watched my video about chatbot, I have a video which is in this playlist about chatbot. In that video, I show you uh, how to create a chatbot in Python. Okay, so you can check that video. And basically what it did was to train a, a data set, a small data set uh, for, for training that bot, okay? So I want to, I want to have uh, something like 1,000 or probably more uh, conversations. I'm going to just uh, type here conversations for training a chat bot, okay? So this is the data that we're going to need for training a chatbot, okay? So keep in mind, I don't, I'm not expecting you, I don't expect you to help with that, but if you do want to have this project uh, working uh, with uh, this kind of application, which is kind of capability, you need to contribute by giving some data also because it needs a start point okay so the shadow bot is going to take about 1000 conversations for begin with okay so the second uh, data set that we're going to need is a data set for commands okay so a data set for commands is basically some kind of sentence or comments like open like open browser okay so this is a data set, but we need a comment plus a entity or a class for our comment. So open browser is basically for entity open. So uh, open browser is pretty much a command that is going to open something, okay? So this is our second data set. Our next data set is a uh, more complicated okay so this is one this one is, is a little bit complicated because uh, i'm studying the ways to implement this but it's actually very difficult to do okay which is a key qa data set qa if you don't know is question question answering okay this is a thing that is really hot now on machine learning, okay, so we need a data set with questions and answers, okay. So these data sets are available on the internet. I know there are a lot of them that are available, but I, would, I want to create our own data set for question answering, okay. So we can customize something, some parameters that can help us to improve this, okay. So we have Three, three, three data sets so far by now. Uh, the chatbot data set, the comments, and the QA, okay? Let me think about the next uh, data set that we might need. Oh, I see. So the next data set actually is not a data set for, uh, for you guys because for English, this is kind of a problem that is already solved, solved okay? Which is a data set for speech recognition which is a corpus, okay? So I'm gonna talk about a little bit about this because we can use the Windows OS speech recognition as well, okay? For our speech SDK, actually, for speech recognition, but some people might using uh, Ubuntu or Linux distributions for uh, when it, when they are following these tutorials and for Ubuntu or in other uh, systems this kind of stuff doesn't uh, it doesn't have a native 
speech uh, recognition engine as good as Windows okay so there are some projects my favorite is box things okay which is a uh, derived words from CM Sphinx, which is a toolkit for speech recognition. Okay, it is awesome for English. There are many models, more uh, are uh, sorry, there are many acoustic models available for download. Okay, but for me, they work quite well. Uh, by the way, my English isn't good, as you can see, or as you can hear, okay? So, but I think, I, I, I think I'm going to try to adapt my voice, so I'm collect, I'm going to collect a small, a small corpora or small data set for speaker adaptation, okay? Adaptation. Uh, adap adaptation, okay. So... I don't know. Maybe you don't want to know. You don't want to use this system or this engine for speech recognition, but that depends on you. I'm just gonna show you how to use this probably okay on Windows, but you can also make this for Ubuntu, which Python is already on Ubuntu, and probably we're going to need to use Ubuntu as well. Okay, so. Probably I'm going to do some videos on that, okay? But these are the data set that we're going to need so far. Uh, a data set for chatbot, for comments, for question answering, and probably you're gonna need your own data set or corpora for, corpora for speech recognition adaptation, okay? Uh, probably, I'm saying, I'm saying probably so, too many times, okay? But I have a video, uh, actually I have some videos on speech recognition on my channel. You can check that videos out, okay? I have some videos in English, but I think the good stuff, it, it is in Portuguese. Uh, probably you can enable the subtitles and watch that, that videos, okay? So guys, this is the video. I think that is good, okay? I'm, I'm talking a little bit about data sets and we, what we might need. To implement in our project, okay. So question answering is a thing that I'm going to explain how it, how, how it's work. Okay, is something that is very complicated to implement because I think it's in machine learning is a is a problem to be solved. Okay, it is very complicated to work with question answering systems. But uh, anyway, that was the video. I hope you like it. So see you later.